What is up, everybody? I hope. Ooh, actually, give me a minute. What is up, everybody? I hope you're good and I hope your ankles are moisturized. Welcome back to my channel. If you're here, make sure you hit subscribe. We are so close to hitting our 200 subscriber mark. And since you're here, obviously you enjoy my content, so go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure your notification bell is on as well. So today's video is super exciting. You can see I have the afro out. She is here in all of her glory. Today's video was actually especially requested by Mama Taku's Butters. I will link her website down in the description box. But today's video is all about how to achieve the perfect high puff. Now a lot of people ask me a lot of time how I get a perfect high puff because it's my go-to style and I wear it almost every day. So in this video I'm just going to be breaking it down for you guys and making it super simple. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on into it. So for my high puff, I use minimal tools and minimal product. I'm not a big fan of gel and baby hairs and sleekness. So I just use a bit of argan oil on my hair and I use a piece of material to tie my hair instead of an elastic band just because an elastic bag is not big enough and then I also use a brush just to smooth out my hair so the first thing I do is I go ahead and I thoroughly add argan oil to all the top parts of my hair that are going to be visible when it's in this high puff this is just for sleekness and for appearance Next, I'm going to go ahead and brush my hair upwards. Um, it's going to look hilarious when it's all up, but it's necessary to get it all in the upstanding position so that when you tie it with a piece of material, it won't be too much hard work to get it all in one place. Make sure that you get the back nice and sleek as well. So this is a technique I use when I put my hair in a high puff. I lay my piece of material down flat on my big old forehead, then I take it behind my head and I crisscross it like so. And then I just start pulling and um, I really can't explain it, but you just pull with a little bit of tension, not too much. I'm not sure why my neck looks so stiff. I really wasn't using that much tension. But yeah, I just pull and I use my thumb and index to kind of guide the piece of material as to where I want it to sit on my head you can choose to have it super high and at the front or like further back I like to have it somewhere in the middle but still pretty high so as you can see that's what it looks like I just pull on it and pull on it until it's just until it's pretty much just tied then I crisscross it again and then tuck the leftover pieces under the bit that I have put around my hair Now this part you guys is the secret to how I get my puff looking so gorgeous. I go in with my afro pick and I pick my hair in the direction and the shape that I want it to sit in. This is probably the most important part to getting a big beautiful puff. You just pick at it, pick at it and just fiddle with it with your fingers until it sits in the shape that you want it to sit in. This is pretty much my hair in a ponytail as I have pulled the material right up tight. Now there is a second way of doing it to get an ultra big puff and I'm about to show you guys this next but this is what the first method looks like. Okay, method number two that I use to get a puff that's actually bigger than what my hair truly is, is that I do the same thing but backwards. And this time I'm not going to pull until my hair actually meets in the middle. I'm going to stop somewhere halfway. Now you need to be really careful with this because it can be super obvious that you haven't tied your hair properly. 
but if you just keep on practicing and keep on fidgeting with it you get to a point where you can kind of have a halfway point where a lot of your hair is left out so the puff looks really really huge so I'm going to do the same thing crisscross it and then tuck it under the bit that is tied by hair and then now because I have so much more hair left out it's going to look so much bigger when I pick it out it already looks like two times bigger than the last one so this is what the back looks like you can see that I haven't taken the hair the uh, band all the way to the middle so I'm just going to tuck that away and fidget with it until it looks the way that I want it to sit there and fidget with it for as long as you want to until the shape and look satisfies you but this has been it for today's video if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up if you did not enjoy it hit the thumbs up let me know what kind of content you guys want to see and follow me on my Instagram and I will make sure to catch you guys in the next video